Hey guys, my name is Moan Pover, and today I'm going to share with you some of the biggest lessons I got from Dan Pena, and this is part three. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Moan Pover, and if you're new to this channel, I've been in this space of buying businesses for the last few years, um, basically doing QLA, following Dan Pena stuff full time. Obviously, Dan Pena was just one of my mentors. I learned from many other mentors, and I'm here to basically share my journey and share with me some of the lessons and, and mistakes that I've got through those years because I spent multiple six figures to learn from different mentors and I, I just wish that I had those type of, uh, I guess, videos when I started. I felt like I'm missing small nuances throughout the process and I'm here to share with you some of those things. And yeah, so if you, if you don't wanna miss new videos, make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment below and hit the notification button so you, must, you won't miss new videos because I'm posting them daily and see in the description below there's a link where you can send me your biggest question and I'm basically creating those videos based on that and also a link for you to join our free business buying mastermind. So see all that in the description below and let's get to today's topic now. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue to go through some of the pennyism and I guess those are all basically all the lessons that I got from going to the castle, from watching his free stuff and you can watch all of Dan Pena content and it's basically the content that you get in the castle. You can watch all that going to Dan Lok stuff, Dan Lok website, I think it's danlock.com or .co.uk, just Google it, just Google Dan Lok and Dan Pena and you'll see all of those videos. I'm giving you a perspective from someone who's doing those things full time uh, because Dan is basically, uh, I guess, left this space many, many years ago of the space of buying businesses, doing deals. And his lessons came from someone who, uh, I guess, mastered everything. And I remember when I learned those things, I felt like those are very broad ideas, very interesting and, and amazing ideas and very brilliant ideas. But as someone who just get into this space, it's really hard to understand what's involved. But today, I want to give you um, one of the lessons, which is, I'm going to just write, uh, read to the, the, the exact sentence, which is, stick to your knitting the, to maximize the return on invested capital, deploy your assets, resources, and capabilities in those areas wherein lie your expertise and experience. So, um, what that means, and I want to get into it, and to me, it's basically bring us back to focus. So, let me show you kind of like my perspective on this sentence. So what this paragraph, small paragraph or sentence or one of the penny is I mean, it brings us all back to, to focus in the end of the day because for me, I, what I see many times of people who get into the space of buying businesses is people who have background in something but then they try to do uh, businesses or deals in completely different industry. For example, for example, for me, my background is marketing mostly and in my first few deals, I was sticking into marketing. All I was involved in was marketing deals. And the problem I see is that many people have experience in something, they have experience in marketing, and then they try to buy businesses in whatever, construction or, or engineering. Now, you can do that at some point, and I'll, I'm going to explain in, in the rest of the video how you can do that too. But when you just start, you want to really, really be focused on ideally just one industry ideally your industry an industry that you have focus and, and understanding in otherwise you're just going to miss so many opportunities because you're going to basically start from scratch in an industry that you don't know nothing about you know no one and it's just going to be so much difficult for you and i think more than that it's just the fact that it's so much easier to build rapport with a business owner when you basically understand some of the terms and just you basically speak his language so for example if uh, you have a marketing background i can talk about things like conversion rates and and funnels and leads and and cost per leads and advertising on on different platforms and all that stuff i think understanding the language will help you build rapport so much faster and in this space of buying businesses we're buying businesses from people so the better you're able to build rapport with someone the, the better chances you have to close those deals because especially in those type of businesses that we're looking to which is, are usually businesses between one to ten million a year in, in yearly sales many times the business owner will sell you the business just based on who you are not based on the offer that you make him or the amount of money that you uh, give him so having the rapport is so crucial here and unless you understand the sector it's really really hard now Yes, you can go into a new sector and learn the terms and learn the language and all that stuff. But 
it's going to take you some time probably at least 30 to 50 to maybe even more conversations with business owners in that specific new sector to understand how they look at things, how the business is, is being uh, basically being run. Because even if you're not going to run the day-to-day -day acquisition that you're buying, you still need to understand how things are working in that sector. And I don't care what people tell you, if you're trying to buy a business in a sector that you know nothing about, it's going to be really, really hard for you unless, which is what I'm doing right now, you have a team around you of people who are used to being in that industry, who did deals in that industry, who had businesses in that industry, and they can bring that sector experience, that industry experience. Otherwise, it's going to be tremendously difficult for you, again, unless you are willing to sacrifice their learning curve. Because yes, you can put a lot of time into learning a new industry, but is it really worth it if you can just focus on the industry that you already know and just do a deal there as soon as possible? So you always need to take that into consideration. And just to give you an example from a deal we're about to close right now, there's a deal in the US that we're working on. It's a radio business, which I have no background in or understanding, or um, my team don't have a background in that. My team have a background of doing deals. But what we did in this specific business is one of our partners who actually found that deal got a similar business in the UK. So we're buying a radio business in the US. It's a million dollar business that we don't know or have experience in that sector or don't even know the people or terms in that sector. But we bring in a partner from the UK who found a deal, who actually know the business owner for many, many years. And then we combine all the expertise, all the knowledge, and, and can do really amazing things together. And just the fact that that business owner know the terms and understand the concepts, they understand everything about the industry, they even have um, similar clients or services where they can talk about with each other, the, our partner and the business owner, the seller, those things alone help us close that deal there because the rapport there is so much faster and so easy. And uh, just think about even the later stages, right? So let's, let's think about an example where you have our partner who is trying to buy the business and compare him to someone who have no experience in the sector who's trying to buy the same business. Now, think from a different perspective. Think about the perspective of the business owner, the seller, who will he be willing to sell the business to? Someone who have experience or someone who don't? And at the same time, think about also a financial institution um, perspective. Who you think they will be more willing to ready to bring capital to? Or either financial institutions or just private investors. Let's say you have money to invest. Who will you be willing to invest your capital in? Someone who have experience in that sector who's buying a similar business in the same sector or someone with no background at all in that sector who's trying to buy a radio business and he's, I don't know, a doctor or an, an engineer or something. You see what I mean? So whenever you have that experience or at least you bring someone from your team in your team who have that experience, life is going to be so much easier for you to close any deal that you find. So the lessons for today, guys, and again, it's based on Dan Pena Penyaism. I think it's a very, the sentence that I, I, I read, and I'm going to read it again, is that stick to your knitting to maximize the return on invested capital. Deploy your assets, resources, and capabilities in those areas wherein lie your expertise and experience. And every one of you, I don't care what you do or what you did in your career in life, you have experience doing something. So unless you're like 18 years old and you basically just finished school, you have experience doing something. And the people that you know, don't underestimate the people that you know and the network that you built already. And even just the terms that you already know and learned about whatever you did over the last few years. Um, whatever you do, just think about the fact that you did something for the last 3, 5, 10, 20 years that other people in the world never even came close to doing those things. Even if you feel like you're not an expert and you're not good at it, you're better than probably most of the uh, people in the world in whatever you're doing, just because you're involved with it for the last few years. So don't underestimate it and use it. Use it as much as you can. And if you're looking to buy a business, use it as much as you can and go ideally buy a business in that sector because it's going to be easier for you to build rapport with those owners and it's going to be easier for you to raise capital from either financial institutions or private investors. And it's crucial. And even every partner you want to bring into the table, like I'm thinking even myself and my team, if you want to bring us as partners, we will screen you and make sure that you do have something to bring to the table, that you do have experience. Otherwise, it just makes no sense. Like you paying us money 
is not enough to work with us. We want people who actually can bring something to the table where we, create, we can create a win-win scenario. And many times, money alone, capital alone, just isn't enough. Like, we want to have some complementary, uh, complementary, I guess, expertise to bring to those deals. And that's where you just get the best deals and everyone is just happy from those things. So, yeah, and, and, and if you want to learn, if you can work with us and potentially partner with us, either actively doing deals or just maybe passively investing in businesses, we have some spots, every deal that you, we have, we potentially bring in passive investors too. So if you want to learn about all those things, um, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and see the details there. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what is your background and what is your expertise. And I'll tell you, I'll reply to your comments and I'll tell you if I think that there's a, a reason for you to stick to that sector or maybe you really just need to start with something else or maybe you just need to stick and believe more in yourself and stick to whatever you're doing. Um, yeah, that's it for today. See the description below for links. Um, just send me ideas for videos. I need that. I need more topics. And there's a link to join our free business buying mastermind group. So if you didn't join it yet, go there right now because there's amazing value there as well. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.